Alright, so this is a quick demonstration video. Um, taking a lot of pictures and whatnot, but I figured people would want to see a video of it ripping and running. Uh, so I've taken out uh, the little folder. This guy. Which actually works well as a PCB holder. Uh, anyway, uh, so I've got a 3D printed uh, drag chain there. I need to still 3D print my uh, air assist hose and whatnot. And so, let me move this guy out of the way. You can see the modification I did right here um, for the ribbon cable and whatnot. It used to sit right down here, and it was a horrible location for it. But uh, I got my induction sensor back here for the Y end stop. And, um, and then, let's flip this guy down. Oh, yeah. This is what happens when you uh, hook up the wrong voltage to your ramp. Uh, you blow up uh, stepper drivers. Anyway, so it's a disaster right now. But uh, right here we have 12 volt power source for the um, uh, water pump, a 5 volt power source down there for the ramps controller. Um, this is a 24 volt source for the uh, for the laser. Actually, this is the laser supply, and this is for um, everything else, I guess. I don't exactly know what this power source is for, but anyway, so I moved the uh, the connector for the uh, laser back there and resituated it so it wasn't just flopping around back there, and uh, uh, moved this guy uh, voltage block from down here over to here. And uh, let's fire it up. Laser should be off, hopefully, just in case. Yeah, laser off. You can see this little red light right here. Uh, if it's not on, then the laser shouldn't be on. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and close this real quick. Fold this guy up here. Hopefully, I don't short it out. Lift this guy up, and if we go to home, let's see if we can auto home. I think I need to tune that X motor a little bit, but yeah, so everything's uh, working pretty good. We can move the axes, um, we can move the X axis around. I need to tune it a little bit because it's sounding kind of ugly. And the Y does the same thing, obviously. Yeah, that sounds awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fix all that. But uh, yeah, it's mainly because I blew out my uh, stepper my stepper drivers. Um, Hooked the uh, 12 volt power supply into the Arduino directly and they didn't like that. So yeah, that, was, that was a bad move on my part. So I just blew out like 20 bucks. But whatever, you learn. Anyway, so yeah, another good idea to do is to label this guy. So when it's up, it's off and when it's down, it's on. Um, otherwise you'll accidentally fire the laser and you know, reflective surfaces of the fires catching the eye and whatnot. So it's not very fun. Um, so yeah, the next thing to do is I've designed a middleman board that goes right here that all this will connect into um, including this guy right here for the ribbon cable um, you can order the part uh, the ribbon cable connector from DigiKey or you can rip it off the Moshi board which is what I did um, this guy isn't completely bolted in yet so this can move around quite a bit um, but if you mount it just right, you can actually fit the USB cable in here without uh, having to cut anything or bend anything. But um, yeah, once I get all that done, that'll get cleaned up and rewired. I also added an airlock switch right here. So it's not hooked up yet, but uh, it won't allow you to fire the laser unless this lid's down. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, oh yeah, and the water cooling system uh, I've got coming. It's a 120 millimeter radiator with a 120 millimeter fan and a, a 500 liter per hour pump. And 
I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna try my luck with mineral mineral oil just in case it uh, leaks it won't cause any issues at least so I'm told uh, yeah that's about it so uh, next time it should be hopefully cutting stuff or I'll do a build log on the uh, uh, water cooling and whatnot and uh, yeah see you guys next time